Hey, it's Vina. I am outside of the Christchurch Cathedral, which is the oldest cathedral in Ireland. It is, um, it dates back to 1170, which is when the Normans came to Ireland, and there's a ruin here behind me of an abbey that was here before that even. It was from 1163. And, uh, it's very cool. Dublin is very cool. Ireland is very cool. Um, had a great time. I've had a great time here so far. I've been here about nine days. Spent some time in Limerick on the on the westernmost coast, and went and looked at some stone circles and some castles and whatnot. And it's just it's a it's a great country. It's beautiful. People are friendly. Um, they are always up for a drink. Like 100% of the time, they are up for a drink. Let me tell you, they're every available space is taken up by a pub. It's either a church or a pub everywhere. There's no souvenir stores here. I can't I can't buy anything for anybody because there's like no place that sells t-shirts or anything. So if I didn't buy you anything, that's why. There's no place to buy you anything. So you should definitely come to Ireland if you get a chance. It's a, it's a great place. And uh, let's talk for a minute about that get a chance thing because um, as I've been thinking about it, you know, when you go on vacation, you get a chance to kind of pull away from what you do every day and, and think things through. And I was thinking about what is it that, that allows me to do something like this a couple of times a year where I just go, go out of the country for a few weeks and uh, you know, still have a business when I get back. Um, it's really thanks to a lot of... Um, a lot of little pieces of education that I got just from being dogged about making sure that I was always being educated. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, an addict about RIA meetings. I, I'm, I'm at like every local RIA meeting as long as I'm in town. And I go to lots of boot camps and I go to lots of conferences and lots of seminars. And as a result of that, I have met some people who are both really successful and also they're good at teaching and they want to teach they have a heart to teach and um, from knowing those people over the years I have made so much money that I just would not have otherwise made I mean my background is straight up real estate mostly rental real estate I you know I got into wholesaling because I met somebody else who did wholesaling not because like I learned about it from my family or anything like that and uh, I have met most of those people by going to conferences and seminars and when I look when I look at it like any one of these folks that I'm in contact with more than more than just super casually has probably made me I don't know tens of thousands to a hundred thousand dollars sometimes just from one thing that they might have said that I I didn't know about before. I, I, I'll give you an example. Last year, I did a deal that I said, I, a deal of a kind that I, I said I would never do because I said, you know, I'm just, I'm doing too much already. This, you know, learn, le learning how to do this other kind of deal is just like, it's just too much. I'm not going to learn how to do it. Um, and I did it anyway, and I made $18,000 on a single deal. And it was, it was a cooperative lease option or you might call it a lease option assignment. And that was something that Wendy Patton told me about just at, at a conference. We were both at, we were both at an event. Um, I, think, I think it was up in Michigan. And she just mentioned at, at lunch, you know, oh, I'm doing these new things. They're called cooperative lease options. And they work really well when you don't want to do a subject two deal. And I, I kept questioning, questioning, and questioned her about it. I was like, and then how does it work? And then, and then what do you do? And then, and, um, she asked me about a year later, had I done any? And I said, oh gosh, Wendy, I'm so busy doing everything I'm doing. Well, last year I came across a situation that it did not make any sense to do anything other than a cooperative lease option. The guy uh, owed as much as his house was worth. There, there was no gonna be no taking over the mortgage. And it only made sense to sort of uh, lease option it from him and then assign the lease option to someone who wanted to live in it. It was a great house, it just was over finance. So that one deal made me $18,000, which would have paid for this vacation for myself and Matt for probably, I don't know, two, three times over. And that was one deal. And it was one conversation at one lunch at one seminar. And 
you know, an, another thing that would have paid for this vacation many times over was um, last year I discovered that I had accidentally, even though I'm not in the note business, made $40,000 on payments from from notes that I had I had put no money, I had no money in the notes. I had no money in the notes and yet the notes made me $40,000 and the reason I didn't notice it was because it was coming in at, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month, you know, three, four thousand a month. And uh, I didn't know till the end of the year that I'd collected so many notes that it was making me that kind of money. And you know who first introduced me to uh, notes 15 years ago was Donna Bauer. And you know, I, I, I knew about her, I knew of her. She was kind of famous already in Cincinnati and I got the chance to eat breakfast with her and she was telling me about what she does with these notes and I was like, that sounds so great, I'm gonna do that someday. And anytime I have a note issue anymore, I, you know, cause I don't, I'm, I'm not an expert in notes. I call Donna up and she helps me with the paperwork or whatever, I, I got her course, I bet I got her course I don't know, 15 years ago, it's probably with real close to the time that I went to that conference. So, you know, it's meeting these people, it's knowing these people, it's getting these ideas that sometimes take a while to percolate, but when the deal comes up and you know, you know how to do it, and even if you haven't like used the knowledge up until then, you can make, you can make money off of it, right? And, you know, also speaking of, speaking of events, um, uh, the reason I'm able to walk away from my business for two weeks and know that I'm still going to have a business when I get back is, is largely because it is automated. And it's gotten a lot more automated in the last 12 months. And the reason for that is, about a year ago, I met a young lady named Brittany Calloway who is killing it. She's absolutely killing it. She's doing renovations in, in five different markets. I can barely do a renovation across town from myself. And she's doing it at five different markets and she she's doing it with virtual assistants and systems and some technology and um i, I i've learned a lot from her about how to uh, further automate the business so and again i met her at a conference every every single one of these people i met because i went to some event or another so you probably know where all this is leading where all this is leading is you need to speak spend some time and money on not just your in-depth education not just like your boot camp type education but also on just being places where there's a lot of people to meet and a lot of ideas to gather and that would be something like um, the Wild Wonderful Women conference that's coming up in about a week in Columbus a lot of you folks tell me that you want to you, you want to travel you know it's on your top five list of things to do well, if, if you're gonna have the things that um, successful real estate investors have, you have to do the things that successful real estate investors do. And one of the things they do is they make it a point to get to events like Molding the Millionaire Mind, which is the Wild Wonderful Women of Real Estate Conference, um, because you get the chance to, uh, to hear a wide variety of topics in a short period of time, which is a huge plus, right? A lot of times at RIA meetings, you, you go to a meeting and you learn something for 90 minutes and then a month passes and then you get another meeting and then a month passes. This is, this is nine topics in three days. So it gives you a real, a real good look at what the um, sort of up to the minute thinking is on everything from short sales to rehabs to uh, creative finance, note buying. I'm gonna be talking about wholesaling. Also, it's very inexpensive, and it's not a huge event. It's not a thousand people, right? It's gonna it's gonna be a, a chance for you to actually sit down and talk to these experts and to your fellow attendees. We've got lunches planned, we've got panel discussions planned, and I promise you, if you want to get some time to sit down with, you know, a Kathy Kennebrook who's an expert in marketing, or you want to you want to sit down and. Um, talk to really any of the ladies, you're gonna get the chance to do that because it's just not that big an event. Also, it's $197. And if that seems like an awful lot of money to you, then that is like double the reason you should come. Like you should you should shake out the change jars to find the $197 of $897 seems like a lot of money to you because it's very, very inexpensive in the world of real estate education. And most of all, you need to make the time to get there. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, April the 28th through the 30th. 
Um, you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna have fun, there'll be prizes, you're gonna network, you're gonna get the chance to get some things in your head that a lot of which you can use right away when you go home on Monday and some of which it, it, it may be a year up the road and you suddenly go, hey, I heard of that kind of deal before. I'm gonna go do that deal and I'm gonna make enough money to go to Ireland. So um, two pieces of advice. Number one, go to Ireland. Come to Ireland, I'm still here. And number two, <laughs> Sorry, somebody just ran right right past me and acted like they were getting between me and my camera, which I'm holding in my hand. Number two, come to the Molding the Millionaire Mind Conference. It is April the 28th through 30th in Columbus. It is not going to be repeated. Um, it is amazing, inexpensive, wonderful, uh, full of experts that you need to learn from because I can tell you they have made me tens of thousands of dollars, these ladies have. So I want to see you in Columbus on April 28th, 29th, and 30th. You can go to wildwonderfulwomen.com to register or you can uh, give Sarah or Christy a call at 513-471-5008 and uh, I will see you there. Bye-bye.